So yesterday I did something stupid. And I got footage of it. It was stupid, but it was for a good cause. It was for two good causes. Um, I went to the office, did some work, talked to some people, made some connections. Close to landing a job at a factory. I took that urine test in Sterling Heights Monday. Took care of a whole lot of business. That might have been the problem. I didn't eat. And then around the corner from the office that I'm training at is a plasma center. It's called CSL Plasma. Great people. Um, I went there after that to donate. What is wrong with this thing? This thing is flashing. Why is it flashing? Oh, because it's leaning up against something, I guess. Anyway, I went there to donate. It's kind of a long process, about a three hour process. Lines, questions, vein check, weight, CBG, stuff like that. The needle that they stick in your arm is about an 18 gauge needle and it is big. For people who don't know, um, what they do is they stick a needle in your arm, it has to be big enough to get the blood cells. It spins in the machine, goes in the machine, spins in the machine. It distracts the plasma, extracts the plasma from the blood, returns the blood cells back to your body. Um, I was almost done with the process when, by the way, I didn't eat. I didn't ask for crackers. Sometimes I'll give you crackers, juice, maybe hot dog or something like that if you haven't eaten. I didn't think to do that. I had a, like a half a bag of crushed Doritos for breakfast. Is that April? Did April finally have that baby? Oh, that's gross. Um, I ate a half a bag of Doritos like that. 9 a.m. that morning and I went to the place at like 11 and long story short by 2 o'clock but well, I was in April long story short by 2 o'clock I was in the ambulance on the way home on the way to the hospital the local hospital what happened was I was sitting there getting my blood cells returned back to me and I, I just it's a came over me suddenly vertigo nausea I started to pass out I couldn't talk very well and the staff was on it like that they were on me you know asking me what's your name what what's your address what's your phone number blah say please who's the president stuff like that um ice packs crackers water which i couldn't keep down i started dry heaving i didn't have any fluids i started throwing up stomach bile i ended up being very very dehydrated i threw up the crackers I couldn't keep my head up. I couldn't keep my eyes open. And they were on me, checking me, trying to get me to stay awake and wake up. I had never felt that sick in my life. And I was scared. And they kept telling me, you got to eat, you got to eat, you got to eat. And I was like, yeah, I believe it now. I was sick as a dog. So, um, they insisted on calling an ambulance. Because I needed fluids, and they wouldn't. They, you know, they wanted to make sure that I got the st proper stuff right away. So we ended up in the local hospital in the ER. So about eight o'clock that night, I got fluids, I got tests, I got some Zofran, I got a prescription for some Zofran and stuff at the local pharmacy. The reason that I did it, I did it. It's only, only my second time. It's fifty dollars a pop. It's for a great cause. And I did it so a we could get some food because I'm between jobs not a lot of money coming in but money coming in is going right back out for bills so and also the revolution is coming here in May they will be here for the first time in 30 31 years first time in 31 years in May that was gonna be my Mother's Day gift to me. I will sell pop. I will sell my pla donate my plaza for money to get Revolution tickets. Uh, I probably won't be able to donate uh so like like maybe four weeks till I get my cells, you know, regulated back. I'm still a little bit sick. I am still a little bit sick. Uh, I'm still a little woozy, still a little nauseous. I'm gonna take today and tomorrow off. I got some stuff to do with Nikki and I go pick up my script and I start need to start eating.
as much as I eat, I eat a lot. I can't believe I got that sick. Just not one day of not eating. So, I got some footage coming up right now. I bet I drained this IV in like 20 minutes. Long story short, kids, if you donate plasma, eat a good meal first. It's been a long freaking day. I am pincushion woman. Let me see. Poked here twice. Poked here. Poked here. Real long day, y'all. I'm okay, though. It's been about a half hour, 45 minutes. I told you. That bag is half gone. Oops. And it's dripping. I'm thinking about having them push the other four of Zofran. They haven't given me anything to eat yet. And that's the real test. If I can hold that down, and they'll let me out of here. Hope they give me a cab voucher. I'm not catching a bus home. It's too cold. And I only got a hoodie. Damn you, Michigan weather. That's gonna leave a nice bruise. That was wrapped around my floor, that my elbow. It was cutting off my circulation, so I just pushed it up instead of calling for a nurse to cut it off. Mm, real. That's going to leave a nasty bruise. Yeah, I don't think I'll be going back there too often. And I'm definitely a my girl.